get it. Um, we're here to talk trending topics, current events, all things viral. Okay, something I wanted to talk to you guys last week. Let's see. There was a youth event in ATL, and some drama happened with former NFL star Cam Newton. So due to some trash talk at this um, youth event, uh, Newton and a couple other people got into a brawl, and the video went viral. I want to know if you guys saw it. What are your thoughts? Uh, I, Please we'll tell get, me. Who wants to go first? Let me, let me go. <laughs> go ahead. Go, <laughs> Please, I saw me, all you. Go me, ahead. Go me. in. Okay, okay, go yeah. in. So um, remember when we first started, I talked, I talked about 707 and um, the difference between 707 and um, – NFL flag. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the 707 parents, uh, coaches, or whatever, it's a whole different atmosphere. Um, you're dealing with, um, like I say, everybody feels entitled. Everybody's at an uproar. You know what I'm saying? The intensity is way different. Um, it's an environment that it's hard to con- hard to control. Yeah. And um, that's one of the biggest reasons I'm sliding my way out of there. I'm still helping kids with their college recruitment or whatever. I still do a tournament, my West Coast shootout tournament. Which coming up March thirtieth. Um, I still do my seven on seven tournament, but it will be policed like no other. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, of yeah, the yeah, incidents yeah. that's happened at these seven on seven tournaments. And a lot of these high school coaches are starting to pull their kids away from these club teams. You got club AAU basketball, you know, and all that. Mm-hmm. Now we got our club seven on seven. That's what Cam is involved with. But the violence is getting terrible with it. I don't think so, people knew that. So 707. Is yeah. that something that often occurs at these kinds of events and the only reason people know now is cuz it was Cam <laughs> Newton and it went viral like does so, it normally happen it, but it's happening a lot. Yeah. It's, wow. happening, it's a lot. happening more. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting more into it. So, you know, Pro Way we host we do host one of the one of the biggest in the nation um tournaments that's coming up that we host and that we um and like Derek said, you know, it's a good thing you know we Fanning away, out of there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fanning away from it because, you know, the kids is just, there's no control, you know, mm. um, it's, it's very hard to control them. Well, and the, you're like trying to set a good example. You're trying to get them out the house and be productive. And then people are These fighting. These kids are the, different. They the, different. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That's amazing. Yeah, it's just, it, yeah. And the coaching staff that they own to a lot of these teams, um, coaching staff, they let the kids do whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, we as p- parents and coaches and um, are not doing what we're supposed to do. For them kids, and um, so those are the most of the groups that starts this stuff. Well, when you seen the video with Cam Newton, you know what was your initial reaction when you seen it? Were you like Cam Newton's protecting himself, or Cam Newton was in the wrong? Like, what was your your honest opinion? Actually, I never took an opinion on it either. Either way, okay. I, I just knew. I just felt um, Cam's a uh, a cool guy. Um, um, they, it's just no respect. You know what I'm saying I don't know yeah. what yeah. what if I do. Like if a guy like that did that to me in Pasadena, yeah, he he would have been handled. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know what what's the respect factor is. You know what I'm saying with these people? Like they, they don't care. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't they don't respect nothing. Wow. Yeah. Now what if what if that was you, Dion? What if you, what if two of them when <laughs> grabbed you by the <laughs> grabbed you by the neck? You know what? I, I, I just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Dion said, I, I "Let me just, think about this." Yeah, one. let me no, think about this. These kids well, watching. Well, I'm around it. Yeah, you know, I see it. I see it. I see where it's going. We see it where it's going. Everybody see where the seven on seven stuff is going. I mean, you got, you know, you got your top high school players, you know, versus some of your other top high school players across the nation. I mean, seven on seven is a is huge. It's he it's a huge thing. You know, people. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that, like you said, that might have caught people attention now. Mm-hmm. What is seven oh seven? Because I'm hearing that, like, oh man, what is it? Yeah, exactly. But seven oh seven been around for a long time. We didn't. I didn't host it a lot. Derek didn't host many tournaments. Wow. You know what I mean? So I we, never knew about it. Yeah, we you know when our West Coast shootout tournaments, we have over 130, 140 teams from across the nation come here to California to be part of this. You know what I mean? So wow. got, I knew about it because it's big on the East Coast. Yeah. Is it, yeah. From, yeah. yeah, 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 it's real big, you know, down south. You know, mm-hmm. oh, of course, big. down yeah. south, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's real big. And, and, um, and it's, it's a way of re- getting recruited, too. So, we got a lot of the, um, the top recruiting um, magazines, or, or not magazines, but the outlets, you know, the yeah. recruiting outlets that you got the 24-7s, you got the rivals, you got ESPN, you got all these people are coming to these tournaments also to look at these kids because um, you're going to get, you got some of the top teams that has five or six players that you want to see some raw talent yeah, on yeah. so there's a lot of yeah. talent in that and it's probably it's several teams like that 
Wow. So you get to come to these um, these tournaments and they they in one spot they could get to see everybody. You who see they everybody see. want. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying it's just that uh, the, we got to be able to control it and it's hard to control because you got coaches like I said just let anything go. <laughs> yeah. So with Proway, what do you guys tell your players when it comes to trash talk like do you give them any advice as to how to handle it yeah we tell them not to do it i mean i, I don't like you do anything you you want amongst your team mm -hmm. but when you go over to the other team and do stuff in their face or do other things towards them that's when it becomes a problem so yeah. whatever you do with your team sportsmanship i don't have I no like problem it. with it yeah. you know what i'm saying but when you get to going over to the other team that's when they feel belittled and something can happen <laughs> I, like, yeah. I like that. I know. I know. Junior had mentioned initially what was the reaction when he saw Cam Newton and things like that. That was a question he had. For me, I know I'm on the comedic side of things, so I thought to myself, "What kind of top hat does Cam Newton have? Because I need one of those. I need one of those. That boy had them all hemmed up and everything, and the top hat still was on his head. Sewed in, sew it in his hair. That's, that's all. I need one of them top hats, Cam. Holla, holla at your boyfriend, so I'm great. Yeah, I, wa I watched it. I watched the yeah. After Effect interview. It was just, um, I believe it was yesterday or the day before of Cam Newton on how he came out and spoke about it. Right? I mean, he felt he felt sincerely really bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, he did. I seen it. You know, um, I, you know, he felt like that really just could have took everything, his family, his kids, you know what I mean? He's like, if he would have just, that wrong decision mm -hmm. at that time could have just took everything away from him. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and you know, he said he had to reevaluate himself and he would never go to another event like that again. And You know, and you know a few months ago, Dion, there was a, a viral clip where there were young um, athletes kind of baiting him. Yeah. a while back and i was like it seems like it's kind of been brewing yeah. for a little bit with yeah. cam newton but obviously he's not the only one but i seen the video like man where is the respect factor for people like this this guy's uh oh he was a great player he went to the super bowl and it seemed like mvp mvp like where is the respect it's it's um it's it's tough to see to be honest with you i don't think it's i don't think it's cam i think it's just the the, the sportsmanship itself of the kids mm -hmm. they don't have no respect there's no boundaries. There's no respect of looking at Cam as that legend because he is that as that that person that made it to that point to where out of I don't know how many, I don't know how many millions of kids that play football, right? Right. Hundreds of millions, right, across the nation, right? Yeah. Less than one less than <laughs> one percent is yeah, ever man. going to probably even see a field, right? right? <laughs> yeah. So so your odds of even making it to where Cam is is slim to none. You know what? Uh, we need to stop bringing Big Mama back to the games. That's what we need to happen. <laughs> I know. Big is. Mama causing all these problems. Stay in the hook up a turkey leg yeah. or something when we get back. Yeah. Cam, Cam could be doing so many other things. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like I could have been doing so many other things when I do my 707. So yeah. we out here trying to help these kids get to the next level at yeah. the end of the day. That's, that's, right. all, that's all we want to do. So um, for them to um, continuously disrespect him. You know what I'm saying? I know. I don't like it. It's not cool. Yeah. I, think, I think it's people just want their viral moment they yeah. they see the the celebrity and they're like okay how can i make this and yeah. go viral on the internet you <laughs> exactly, know exactly exactly so i think yeah. that's part of it yeah, yeah.